Yeah, that's right. We embedded a YouTube video two ways in a Google Sheet. And they actually do work and play. It's not like a thumbnail that will link to the URL address. This is an actual embed. We're using a sidebar embed or a modal or a dialog embed is what they call it in Google Sheets. And we've got this handy little drop down menu that pops them open out of the gate just like that. Pretty sweet, right? All right, let me show you how to do it. We're gonna open up a new project and create this from scratch. It's very simple. We create an HTML file. We actually create another HTML file, as you'll see, because of the dimensions uh, that have to be changed according to which of these that we use. And then we create a small little script and it runs and it works and it's cool. Check it out. Hey, uh, subscribe to the channel while you're at it too and like this video, appreciate it. I will share this in the description below so that you can make a copy for yourself and check it out if you'd like. I am going to open up apps script and from here we've got a blank slate. So in our app script here, we're gonna create an on open function. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to be able to actually, as soon as we open the spreadsheet, create a menu. And so we're gonna do create menu for that drop down menu. We'll call it YouTube sidebar, like we did in the example. We're gonna add an item and this will add open sidebar. And then this second argument, this is the function that's going to run when we click that. And then I'm gonna add another item in the same way and we'll call this open dialogue. And we're gonna run a function that we'll write called dialog. And now to add it to the UI, we'll select this and that will add it to the UI. And if I save this and go back out here, so here's our menu and it doesn't do anything because we haven't written those functions. So let's go down here and write them. The first one is going to be sidebar, doesn't take any arguments. And what we're going to do is say let HTML output, if I could spell correctly, equal HTML service, create HTML output from file. And we're gonna call this file sidebar. And that's another thing that we have not yet made, but we will in just a second. That's gonna be our HTML file. And then I'm gonna say spreadsheet app.getUI show sidebar. And this takes that HTML output and throws it into the sidebar. And that's really all there is to it. So in the same way, we're gonna create another function called dialog. And the only difference between these is down here, instead of show sidebar, we can select show modal dialog or mode list dialog. I'm gonna select mode list. Do you know what the show mode list dialog does, by the way? This allows us to click behind the pop-up and actually still do things in the spreadsheet instead of it being frozen in place. So for the purpose of where we're putting these embeds, that makes more sense to me because I want to be able to click around as the YouTube video is up and even as it's playing and do things in the spreadsheet. I'm envisioning maybe a tutorial running in either the sidebar or the modal about the spreadsheet itself. Okay, next up, we need to add two HTML files. So we're going to go add HTML. The first one, we're going to call it sidebar. And in this, I'm just going to copy and paste and tell you what we're doing here. It's a simple HTML document. We've got some metadata here and the language, just the standard boilerplate and the head. And then we have a body and a div, an H1 that says sidebar embed, and then a little text. And then right here is the iframe element. Where do you get that? Well, you find a video and you say, hey, share embed copy. And this will copy the code to embed this video. You can actually change some of the settings over here, but we're gonna leave it as it is for this example. And that's what we have pasted in here. Now, you may have seen the frame width and height change. Let me show you why I have edited that and will edit it again. Let's run this sidebar. We're gonna click through these authorizations, advanced, 
go to Untitled Project, Allow. Yes, we know what we're doing. Let's open that sidebar now and boom. Okay, this is great, except yeah. So the sidebar in Google Sheets is a fixed 300 pixel width. So back over here, we're gonna go 300 and then just to keep the aspect ratio, plug in 168. That way, instead of it spilling over there, it just fits right in the sidebar window. Okay, so that's that one out of the way. Now for the modal, it is the exact same as you may have guessed. We're going to add an HTML element. I'm gonna copy and paste this in, and the only difference here is this 495 and 278 for the width and the height. Oops. Now if we open the dialog, uh-oh, what do we do? Okay, here we did not say dialog there. That was the other difference in this function. So now if we go back, dialog. And of course, I have misnamed things, or I've named things stupidly. The name of the HTML file is modal.html, so it needs to be modal in that function. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> What have I done? Oh, um, curiously, we actually do have to have a title over here in the show modeless, modeless dialog. Now, for the fourth time as a charm, we'll run that, and then we have the title right up here. We can actually move this around if we like, so I really do like the modal or the mode less better. And as we play this, let me just mute myself there, and you can see it's playing, but we can still do stuff in the spreadsheet. I thought that was pretty neat. Hope that's helpful for you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do make stuff like this all the time, and at least like this video if you made it this far. Hope you found something useful here. Have a great one. Bye. If you found that interesting, check out this next video where I create a short apps script that's beginner friendly where you can create calendar events whenever you submit a Google form.